With less than 40 days before powerful machines rock the plains and terrains across Kenya and Tanzania in the 2011 edition of the Kenya Airways East African Classic Safari Rally, it's perhaps understandable that some drivers have been avoiding the public and media pressure. But not anymore. This is the best kept secret that the defending champion Nian Denkan has successfully managed to hide until KTN paid him a surprise visit. And he knows that this year, this car must rise up to the challenge. Oh, it's a Ford Capri. In uh, South Africa, they made a Capri Piranha, which is a 302 V8, which is about 4.9 litre um, uh, V8. Uh, same four-speed four gearbox. Um, yeah, and there's people have been rallying them here and in Australia and in Morocco and they, they seem to be good cars, so it was just... The car has just barely been tested for speed and endurance, but the champion plans an extensive shakedown before the event starts in November 2011. And he knows that this year, and in this competition in particular, chance favours the best prepared drivers. I think there's probably seven or ten people who could actually end up winning the rally, um, whereas last year was probably three. Um, so, so, so it's, it has a very good entry, you know, really good. Uh, Bjorn is coming, Stig, um, Demubius. It's, um, you know, there's, there's a lot of good entrants in this rally. The Tanzanian side of the route is threatening to send the organizers back to the drawing board, with some sections appearing to yield under the wet weather conditions. I anticipate the route changing because, uh, you know, with the heavy rain, always the road gets uh, churned up by the trucks and the lorries that pass through the roads. So the drivers are in for a real challenge this year. It's probably going to be a repeat of 1977. A number of rally cars are reportedly on their way to the port of Mombasa and are expected to arrive in a fortnight. And a couple of drivers will be embarking on test drives in areas around Voi and Matate early next month. Sadiq Shaban, KTN Sports.